yeah hello guys um welcome back to e-man codes um yeah hopefully you enjoy this video as per usual um first of all my name is emmanuel um i'm a cloud engineer um as a occupation as a as a, a job um if you're new on this website if you're new on this um particular um youtube channel what we do here is we teach everything devops related um we teach cloud related or yeah so if you are new to this channel um we talk everything devops um we what i do is um i teach um whatever i've learned um within devops within cloud engineering within software development um i will teach that also so um it's been a while since i last filmed the video as you may if you're keeping up with it you'll probably realize um i've been working on a few other projects in my spare time and one of them I, I i i believe i finished and i wanted to kind of um do a little show and tell i guess um feel free to use it let me know how you find it and things like that um i'm hoping maybe in, in, in the near future to write another video um on how i actually wrote the code and maybe talk you through the code itself um just give you a thorough explanation maybe do like a a code with me session but this is um a presentation on that and then also do a, a demonstration of that particular uh, project I called so the project is called sort my folder um, in this particular in this particular um, presentation this is the context um, I'll first go through what is sort my folder we'll then walk through the code base um, I'll then give you instruction on how to use this particular um, uh, module and then we'll go through a small um, demonstration of how it works so that you can actually understand what it looks like when you've got it working and everything else so first of all, let's get straight into it. So what is Sort My Folder? Um, I come from a very devil's background, cloud engineer background, and it's very, it's heavily, it's it's a heavy belief in automation. So it's an automation module, and what it does is, if you have a scenario whereby you have a, a, a folder, for example, if you were to go on your computer right now and you looked at your document section, you would see there's loads of random documents all around, um, nothing's particularly organized especially if you're looking at your own personal machine your own personal computer or pc you would have normally clusters of files all around like excel sheet pictures um different folders that doesn't really make sense and i had this particular issue and i thought to myself if there was a way for me to literally automate sorting all of these folders into one in, into, into into specific folders based upon what type of file it is then that would be really perfect for me. And so I went about and I kind of wrote a module for that. Um, it's written in Python um, and I packaged it with setup.py for those who are not aware what setup.py is. Um, so when you write your code, for example, you can push that to GitHub, GitLab, um, with your DevOps, whichever repository you like. Setup.py is a method in which you can also push the actual package directly to Python and then you have the ability to then go on any machine and do pip install with the given name and then you can actually run that um, particular package if it's possible you can run that on the command line which is where um which is where it stands with the ability to run it on the command line with arguments um, i'll give you a demonstration of that so yeah just to summarize what exactly the um, application is essentially that i wrote it takes a look at your document that you provide it scans it and then it sorts the files within that document based on the type of file it is. It gives you a much more neater looking um, set of um, folder. So we'll have a different demonstration and I hope you kind of like the way it looks. Um, so yeah, let's talk about the code base. Um, so here is a code base of the actual um, um, proje project. Um, I actually wrote it within Python. Um, and I wrote it and I pushed it to Git, GitLab. The reason why I actually use GitLab as opposed to um, GitHub, um, I have a GitHub account. I'll actually, I'll actually push it to GitHub also just to make it available there also. But the main reason being that I, lo I love the layout of GitLab. I think it looks um, kind of professional. I think it's also it's laid out. I mean, it's laid out similar to GitHub in a sense, but I think it's much more easier on the eye. Um, and so this is the code base essentially when you actually come there. When you actually come to the repository, I'll make that available also. Um, go to the readme section. It talks about how the actual um, file, uh, actual code base is structured and which parts is the most important parts. 
um, certain bits you don't really need to pay attention too much to. Um, for example, the setup PY, which is what I was talking about, this is um, the way in which um, you would then package the, pro the, the, the product and then you can push that right up to um, the Python repository. Um, so when you actually enter, what actually happens is once you've cloned down the repository um, using git clone, if you're not, if you're unfamiliar with these terms, um, if you look into my my um, my videos, I've got a a tutorial on using git. So once you've done a git clone, um, you want to change repository into you want to change directory, sorry, into the repository, uh, which will, which is called auto, uh, which is called auto group, and then you change directory to that. Now, where the actual logic of the code is held is within the auto group um, directory. So here we have an init file. Um, it just tells um, it just it, it, it tells Python that this particular um, it's a module, and then everything else is within it's a sub module. Um, so when you actually enter it, when you execute this particular module or, or package, it begins by first going into the determine underscore location py. Um, and it will ask particular questions, which I will demonstrate later on. Um, so please stay to the end. If you if you want, you can skip right to the end, and I will demonstrate also there. But it, it it goes first by looking at this class here, where to sort files. It will ask the user certain questions as to whether they want to whether the given directory is a correct directory. So the way it works is you have to give the directory that you want. Um, you want you want my you want my particular package to, this particular package package to sort for you um so it will go through it will give you a few questions i think it's about two or three questions maybe one it's actually one question yeah so it will ask you one question based on your answer it will do one of two things which is that um if your answer is yes you wanted to sort that particular directory it will take that information and it will send it to another um sub module called um gather files um, gather files will see all will, will scan and see all the files available within the path that you've given it um, and then it will kind of collect information and, and sort it within dictionaries essentially of what it's found it will then pass that information on to another sub module known as type type of files um, which is here type of file and then this will do a, a further analysis um, and a, a, after the doing further analysis also it will then um, go ahead and pass the information. Um, there will be a moment where I will actually do a, 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 a literal um, dive into the, the code I wrote. Um, I actually do a code by me, a um, code with me, so that you can properly understand my thought process um, as to how I came up with these um, these codes, um, essentially, so you can understand the problems I went through and how I overcame those. But essentially, it, it uses a lot of um, dictionary use, um, a lot of dictionary use to, um, I guess, sort the, the files in place um, after it's done that it will then send the information um, to default folders and here is where the final part of the project actually works where it goes ahead and it moves the, the files based on the information that's collected about your your directory or the folder you've given it it will then move the files according to the information that I, uh, my, my my code has collected about it um, so yeah that's the code base in hindsight um, I won't go too detailed into it. Um, this is more of a show and tell to show you exactly um, how it works. So let's go back to the presentation. Um, so um, that's the code base. Um, so how to actually use the um, particular, this particular, my, how, do, how do you actually use my module? Well, there's two options to use my, um, my module. The first one, which is my preferred method, is that if you install pip, on your machine, um, on your PC. When I say PC, uh, machine, I mean your PC. If you install pip, and if you don't have pip, um, you can just Google how to do it. But normally, if you install Python, then you can actually install it as another extension to that. And then you install my package by doing pip install sort my folder. Um, you can do pip3 or pip install. Um, once you've done that, it will install and kind of download everything you need from it. Um, then there's some environment variables that you may need to set um, here and there. I will update my um, readme um, so that it will, it will state how to sort those. After that, the command you need to run to actually get the package working is sort my folder dash dash location. And then um, in here, in this part, path of your choice, you input the path where you want my 
my, my package to go and sort those for you. If you want to go through the other method, which is the Git clone the repository I've just shown you, um, then Git clone, of course, um, I've got a tutorial on how you do Git, everything else. Um, I'll link that in my, in my folder. I'll link that below somewhere for you. Um, so essentially, you go ahead, you Git clone it, you change directory into that group, and then, like I told you, um, you do a Python determined location, which is where it actually kicks off the whole um, application off. So you do Python location.py, and then you also provide the argument of your of the location or of the um, of the working directory that you want my my package to make in influence to. Um, so let's go ahead and go into a demonstration, which is what I guess uh, we're really um, here for. Um, so this is um, the package, the, the working directory that I want to um, work at, I want to make the influence at. See, as you can tell, it's very all messy, there's files everywhere, it's very hard to even navigate and understand what it is that you're looking at. And there's PDF files everywhere, there's zip files, um, there's, um, there's TXT files, um, it's quite messy. Um, and ideally, you, if you were to sort these out, you would have to go uh, create a new folder, move that into the folder, all these other unnecessary things. But um, I think this is a much more easier way to do it. So we'll go through the my preferred method first, um, and then we'll actually go ahead and um, sort it out for you. So um, let me actually change directory into um, workspace three. Um, if we do an ls, which is to list all the um, files here, you can see it lists everything in there. So um, what you want to do first, if we first, of all, I always um, advocate to work within a um, a virtual environment. I wouldn't necessarily advise um, doing a pip install straight into your actual um, normal environment. I would say um, create a virtual environment and then do a pip install from there. So I run, I don't have a virtual environment, so I'm, I will set one up and then I'll, I'll work from those virtual environments. Um, so um, as we can see, um, I've created a, um, let me just increase that size so you can um, accurately see what I've done here. Um, so I've um, got a virtual environment here and this signifies that a virtual environment has been created. Um, there'll be a tutorial coming up on how to actually initiate a virtual environment. I'm, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I've already got a video um, talking about how to initiate a virtual environment, but you do, I would advise doing everything separate from your natural um, native environment. So um, I've got an like, virtual environment running. To install my product, um, to install my package, you want to do a pip3 um, install um, and then you go sort my folder. Um, and then it will install that for you. I've already got it um, installed. So um, I've got the latest version. When you install it, it will give you the version, which is 0 0.035. Um, once this video goes live, I might go in and um, do another update just for maintenance. So the, the versions might change, but it will always be kind of a working, a working one. So once that works, perfect. Then you need to now go ahead and find the, 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 the directory you want to work, you want to manipulate in. The easiest way I would say is to go ahead and do a PWD at the directory within the directory that you want to work in. So here um, I'm going to work, I'm going to, um, I'm going to, I want to sort this particular directory, which is what you see here, right? So the way to run the command is sort my folder dash dash location. And then you can paste in the directory that you want to work within and you press enter and as you can see it will ask you um do you want to organize folders in your current location which is and then it will give you the location that you actually entered it's a yes or no you have to give a yes or no answer um any answer wouldn't really work um so let me just um minimize that so you so you can see exactly what happens when um when you when you execute the command um, hold on, let me. This is why it's so important that we do it. We do it in this method so that you can see exactly how. Um, if you're new, if you're new to software, for example, you can see exactly how um, developing actually looks like. 
So um, we've executed it. It goes, um, do you want to organize folders in your current location? Which is, and then it will give you the location that you've already um, asked. You've already um, pasted. Let me remove that so that you can actually correctly see that properly. Um, so I'll type in yes. And then once you, you put yes in there, as you can see, it sorts everything right into into um, the specific given location. So all the J, um, J, JPG, all the pictures, any pictures I had in there will source it out. Um, any ink, um, I'm not really too sure what that file is really, but, and then it will sort any any folders, it will sort that and put that into other. So these are all the other projects I had, all the PDF files that you saw earlier, source them into the PDF files, so that's nice and easy. So you can see all your PDF files there, um, the pen keys I've had, I've got there, it sorts that and puts that in there. All the SQL scripts that I had, it sorts that into an SQL, a nice, neat SQL file. The TXT um, files that I had, um, it sorts that very nicely into, into a folder. All the zip files that I had also, sorts it very nicely, um, which is brilliant. And then um, finally, all the documents that I've, I had also that was lying around loosely, um, it sorts that very nicely into its own package and, in, and in, into its own folder for you. Um, of course, um, I've written it so that it gives you, um, it gives you a, it, essentially it gives you, lo it gives you logs, it prints out logs of what, of what the full processes are. A lot of them are repetitive. Um, it just tells you, it, it literally just tells you what, what the file is, um, whether the file is in a directory or whether it's not in a directory and then it will move it into a directory or not. Um, and in this part, particularly, it talks about how it goes ahead to um, find out what types of files are in there. So it first lists it lists all the files, um, and then it goes ahead, and then it determines whether some of the files are named awkwardly or whether they're not named awkwardly. Um, there's not a number of um, steps that it goes through. Um, hence, why the code base is quite long. Because um, when I was writing the code, I discovered that a lot of times some of the files are named very awkwardly and you have to kind of write your code to anticipate um, as many possible possible methods that people would name their particular product. But yeah, have a go at it, um, use it, test it. Um, let me know how it goes. Um, I would say the, the best way, I think, I think the, fun, the most easiest way to use it and most um, very kind of like straightforward ways to pip install it, um, to pip install it and then um, run um the application using sort my folder and then give it a, the location that you need and then it'll take it from there but yeah uh, once again my name is emmanuel um from eman codes i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope it was effective and um it was something that you can learn from thank you very much for your time um we'll see you again on the next videos thank you